Hi everyone, Ian Crossland here, your favorite, coming at you, iancrossland.net. What's happening over on the board? We got Not Straight Kellen, who is not straight. And I wanna make sure that everyone knows that. Guy is not straight. I wish I was coming to you in better times, but it's a dark time here at Rian with Ian. We're talking about contracts, 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 where you put your name on a line on a piece of paper and all of a sudden it sells you down the river. How far did I get down this river? Because I wasn't watching. And now I've got one paddle, I'm, I'm paddling in freaking circles on this river, spiraling down. And then the guy's like, why do you only have one paddle? And I'm like, I still, we're talking about contracts. So let's, I actually talked with uh, my half Armenian accountant, Charles, and he had some issues we both did over this. So let's dig in, let's begin. Where do we begin right here? Let's begin right here. And I'm sorry if the translation's a little off. Uh, a chicken wrote this contract. Mr. Crossland will bear the burden of all production cost to be taken from total fee of 50 million. 50 million. 50 million what? 50 million dollars? That's what I thought. That's not what it says, it says 50 million. 50 million chick coins. What are chick coins? It's cryptocurrency, the chickens use. Dude wants to pay me in chick coins. Just give me eggs. You literally poop money. Let's get down to brass tacks. And it, these aren't even brass, they're aluminum or, or I don't know, copper alloy or something. We're already cutting costs. I haven't even signed the contract yet. We're cutting costs. Next part of the contract. Going forward, Mr. Crossland is required to roll at least 120 and one each nightly, though two would be highly encouraged, but not required. Therefore, surplus ones and 20s will not merit additional compensation. Look, folks, what I do is organic. I don't make this up beforehand. I don't sit around in the boardroom and try and think of like, what's the next thing he's gonna do? Is he gonna be meditating on a hill? Is he gonna be making cricket bread? Is he gonna be rolling crystals like dice? I don't, I don't ask uh, dudes in, in, ahead of time to buy some stock and maybe a uh, put on what my next action will be. I don't even know what my next action is gonna be. It just, it just happens, it just comes out of me. I think that we've, we've had enough and I need your help in joining me. Whether you're part of Brew Crew or you're new, together we can do something. All I need is your help at www.stopbigcock.com. All right, our friend Ian Crossland has launched an initiative called stopbigcock.com. Now, Ian's been in the middle of renegotiating, so there's a few offers on the table. A lot of folks are wondering if the Chicken Wire is one of those companies who made him an offer, and yeah, we did. Now, I don't know about you, but 50 million and a daily stipend of mealworms sounds like a hell of an offer. But by the way, I want you to remember that number because it'll come up a lot. 50 million. There's a few things about the nature of the offer Mr. Crossland seems to have misunderstood. The chicken wire likes to stay transparent. You'll notice my wall is made up of glass and you can see like everything behind me. 50 million. Look, it sucks to make this video. Ian and I are great friends. Did all those private chicken massages mean nothing to you, bruh? 50 million. Now Ian has made it out like we're doing the wrong thing and that maybe we're part of the problem. For added context, here's Hensha Poultry to comment on that. Okay folks, Ian registered Stop Big Cock months ago. I'll be the first to say we were close friends, but he's self-immolating here and I'm not willing to piss to put him out. But before we go any further, let me tell you about bulk worms. Okay, thanks Ben. Let's leave out the insults though, <laughs> you big silly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the contract we had for him. Oops, <laughs> hang on, that's not it. <laughs> Got it somewhere, here we go. Mr. Crossland will bear the burden of all production costs while the rest of us sit back and enjoy some hot cocoa and mealworm pie. Buck. Mr. Crossland will produce a two hour show consistent with the quality of his current show, which is nothing, so I don't know what he's bitching about. Mr. Crossland will swear an oath to Big Tech, and his balls belong not only to the chicken wire, but of course to Cthulhu himself, all praise the Dark Ones. We like Ian and we want to work with him, but for some reason he just can't get off his period. This is standard stuff. I suppose now's a good time to tell you even Tim himself is hired talent. That's right. I own it all. Your pools, your crowders, even your Matt Walsh's. Jordan Peterson makes my coffee. I sign the checks. I make the deals. I am the literal God King. Anyway, thanks for checking us out. Sub to our Louder with Roberto Mug Club. Coming up next, Bucker Carlson. That's right, I own it all, bitches! I didn't want to have to do this, but... I hear what you're saying loud and clear, but that's not what's on paper, Roberto. No, I am, I am listening to you. It says apparently you're not listening to yourself. See, folks, this was never about the eggs. This was about... Freedom, 
and creating culture. And I told Roberto Jr. that. He decided to make it personal, not me. Let's continue. A second ago, this was about business, but when it comes to me playing ball, it's about friendship. <laughs> this is even about me. It's about everyone coming up. Not everyone has my platform. You know, brew crew, or my dulcet tones, or my rugged good looks, or natural primal magnetism. Uh, what were you talking about? Listen, I've only recorded phone calls three times in my life. Two times with roosters. One time was when I called the sex... The I've, I've only recorded two phone calls in my life. Uh, I was going to have half Armenian accountant Charles here with me today, but apparently he's turncoated. I don't know. Hopefully Roberto Jr.'s offered him something more than a tracksuit and uh, gold chains. I don't want to go today without thanking all of you and thanking my stand-in producer, Quarter Human Wesley. People... Join Brew Crew, join the fight. I think I made my case here today, and we'll see you next time.